Welcome back, CR Tech here with another quadcopter review. We've got with us today the JJRC H11WH. This is a Wi-Fi FPV quadcopter, has altitude hold, return to home, headless mode. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty stable in the air, altitude hold works pretty good. I've not got to fly this a whole bunch. Uh, the camera on it is was broken when I got it, so I can't really speak on it too much. I will say that the remote adjustable camera feature does work. Um, I was unable to really see too much on the camera itself. Uh, I could tell that it was moving, but I couldn't really see anything through it. So that feature is cool. I've got a replacement coming soon, so we'll get that taken care of, and I'll get that updated and get you guys some video footage. Um, this thing's pretty nice. It feels pretty solid and sturdy. Um, I really like the color. Uh, the LEDs on it are really bright. One really cool thing is the motors are plug and play. You can just take one screw out and plug in a brand new motor and you're basically good to go. Uh, props are kind of a pain in the butt to change out. Um, we've got a screw right here and sometimes it's hard to get it realigned back in there. I've actually got one of the props where I can't get the screw out. It just sits there and spins, so I'll have to figure out how I'll ever change the props on these. Uh, prop guards in the box, you get two 1100, 3.7 volt 20C batteries. Uh, I actually went on Amazon and picked up some 1250s. Um, I get a little bit more flight time off these. I'm not sure if this is going to focus. So these aren't too bad. Um, I would say I could run through probably all five batteries that I have and get a good 35, 40 minute flight time. So it's it's pretty pretty acceptable to me. Um, JST connection on the battery. Little we'll USB charger. Um, actually got a balanced charger with the other batteries that I bought. I'll put a link to this in the description. I can definitely get all my batteries charged up in a little over an hour. <clears throat> I would say flight time on this, seven to eight minutes or so. Probably about five and a half minutes with the camera running and doing the FPV. Uh, the receiver is pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of the Xbox controllers. Um, it's really well labeled. Let me see if I can get that focused. Now you've got your trim options. You can pan your camera up and down here. I'll get it a little bit closer so you can read. We've got our on and off buttons. There we go. So we've got our on and off photo and video. On this side, we can reset and recalibrate. This will be to take off and land. This is our return to home. You'll notice on the top, we've got our rollover button so we can do all of our flips. And over here, We've got our rate, and we can turn the LEDs on and off. The phone mount is pretty rigid. Uh, it'll hold pretty much any phone, I imagine. My Note 5 fits in it just fine, and there's actually some room still, you can see. Um, holds it nice and stable. I mean, it's a toy, toy quad, so <laughs> it's it's doing good. It's, it's nice. Um, Oh, one thing I forgot to note, emergency stop. So if you ever want to kill your props, hit that right there and you're good to go. This thing's pretty nice. Um, I haven't had too many chances to fly it outside, but the times that I did, it did really well in the wind. Um, held its own. I was able to get pretty good elevation on it. Uh, it was pretty windy the day that I took it out, so I didn't go too crazy. It says the remote control distance is about 60 meters. So um, once I get the new camera and I can get the that all fixed up, then we'll get a new video posted up so you guys can see what their version of 720p looks like. I know that some of the other quads that I've flown claim HD and it looks like most of the time they coated the lens in Vaseline and it's just nasty. I don't know. Not my thing. But I look forward to doing some more reviews and I hope you guys like this review. And if you 
want to take a look at buying this quadcopter, like I said, I'll have all the links to everything in the description, and hope you have a good night.